Hi everyone, my name's Simon, I'm the founder of Horma Studio and today I'm sharing with you this new rendering teardown. So basically we're dealing with this really nice uh, picture of a sort of nice big stone ca castle or house or whatever. Um, there are really like interesting uh, stuff there, like I really like the um, sort of dramatic sky and the artificial lighting and there are some really like interesting uh, subtle effects so it's on the overall it's it's a really good image there is well actually there might be like some sort of reflection issue it's sort of a little bit too blurred out here but uh yeah really good image um i quite like the uh, yeah this kind of really dramatic atmosphere that's trying to to create here so a couple of stuff that i could say um, so first things I'd say it's maybe a little bit like I might want to just crop out a little bit more um, the image because it's it's a little bit too too low because you have like this sort of foreground that is actually kind of interesting so you might want to have like more of this and maybe have like the re complete reflection of these guys here other thing you might want to check is um, it did that but I'm not sure like as in it's really like symmetrical in terms of um, like with the trees and I'm not sure it's something you well it's, it's just like a something you have to try but maybe you can want to um, sort of um, really play this idea of a sort of a diagonal um, rendering with like composition that could be actually pretty interesting so something to try out maybe or at least not have like this big tree maybe something smaller I don't know maybe something to try out um, something else also since the ideas sort of converge here would be to maybe rework the landscaping because as you can see here like we have some proper nice hedges like nicely cut and stuff like that and then we have this sort of uh, weird bushes which sort of breaks the the idea that you're in some sort of like really nice uh, mansion or whatever so maybe you might want to like use the same system and have your hedges coming that way and that way it's going to be more like um, constructed and sort of regular which means you're going to be able to recreate this sort of perspective here uh, in a more direct manner or like more subtle but still like recreating this sort of a uh, focus point um, there's like a little bit um, annoyed by this guy here I think it's a little bit too bright so I would just um, lower the um, what's happening there uh, actually um, yeah just I think it's a little bit too much, so yeah, just, just a little bit. Um, I think the main thing, like there are a couple of stuff that you could look at in first, it, in terms of animation, like um, it really depends on what sort of scenario you're looking at, but it's, although it's like everything's lit up, it looks kind of dead. So you might want to, maybe you want to have like a, maybe there's a party going on and you have like just shadows or something of people inside it or at least what you have to do is to um, create some sort of uh, detail inside like maybe maybe there's a painting there and maybe there's a, a big chandelier uh, here or I don't know but just create some sort of details that shows that it's just not some sort of fake uh, facade and that there are stuff happening behind it because there are like basically there's uh, one two three yeah three layers I'd say there's like you have the glass in which you have to really work on your reflection here the reflection is extremely blurred out which means I think it's just like the RGRI that is reflected but you have to properly 
uh, work on that because see like if you have this sort of uh, trees in the foreground that basically means they have to be reflected at some point like maybe here or around here so that means they have to be reflected and it has to animate the facade the second thing is like which has worked well here is the the curtain which is not like you don't have to put curtain everywhere but here it works well and it creates animation so it's uh it's working pretty well and then you have what's actually happening in the in the room behind which means you you have to you have to have some sort of detail maybe it's just like you have some sort of mold or stuff like that and that you can sort of subtly see through the window so that's something i might want to work on um to look at what's happening in terms of um, contrast with the we can see it's a little bit too um, uh, a little bit too flat I think so what I would do is maybe enhance that maybe not that much but yeah something like that because it's I think it's like even more dramatic to sort of really contrast the, the building and see how the lights are really uh, brightening the whole thing, and what you have to also like, as you can see, the layer is not going like not contrasting the whole image, and that's because, uh, in terms of composition and how the human eye works, you're always attracted to the most contrast uh, in your image, which means since you're draw trying to draw attention to your building, you have to increase the contrast only on your building or on or only on like. Uh, points of interest you have in your image which means you have to just hide this level layer in the background because you don't want to just contrast the because if you if you contrast this building this sky sorry you can see it's 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 much more uh, present which is not necessarily something you want to do because otherwise there's no like hierarchy in your image so yeah um, you can also play around a little bit with your burn and dodge so like it's it's really efficient especially on this kind of texture and the grass here because you can create some sort of uh, irregularities and enhance like the sort of aging of the stone because it's yeah it's it sort of uh, emphasize the uh, the contrast and what you can also do with the dodge tool is to uh, so it's like that one it's to increase the um, sort of like just like you had this sort of bloom, um, yeah, bloom effect here, but it's not really like glare effect. Sorry, uh, it's a little bit too too bright. Whereas if you do it like just tiny uh, a stroke of a brush here, it's it's more subtle, but still it works. Uh, it does kind of like quite a big difference. You can also like make it leak. Uh, sorry. Um, on the ground because it's reflected so that's um, what I would do also uh, if we come go back to uh, saturation there's something that like quite a bit that needs to be done the first one being like well you know that in a um, in a normal like a naturally lit image the, or scene, the saturation has to be homogeneous. So basically, this means there, there sh shouldn't be too much of a discrepancy between the like the saturated part and the unsaturated ones. So except when you're dealing with um, artificial lighting. So basically, what you can see here that stands out pretty much instantly is um, this girl here. Uh, because she's like way too saturated so what you would do is just decrease I use a use saturation layer mask adjustment layer sorry and just decrease the, the saturation on the, these people uh, that way what you can see is that it's like they they stand out less and they're a little more integrated if they were face like if they were lit artificially by these lights it would make sense to have them like a little bit brighter and more saturated but, but the light is coming from like uh, facing them so they cannot be lit by our artificial light so that's more how it should be looking um, the other thing you can sort of play around with is like you know artificial lighting is like when you have several uh, stories here 
you you'll never have exactly the same temperature so it's you can sort of see it but still it looks a little bit f not fake but maybe you you need to play around a little bit more with how like the tints or the hues are varying variating so maybe it's more like yellow here and so something to have to sort of look at and it's also like maybe a little bit too bright so that's why I uh, lowered the uh, saturation in these parts like as you can see this is like uh, on top of the windows and one of the other thing I can sort of suggest is like the yeah, light leaks so what you just do is you take the, um, the color of the um, of the light coming through and you just paint it here and set it to just overlay that way you can sort of uh, show how it reflects on the ground and um, something else that could be done is just like I think it's just the saturation mask for the whole thing because it's a little bit too saturated for a, a nighttime render and the final thing I think is regarding the um, grass because what you have to keep in mind is that um, when something is getting like like when something is getting less light and is in the shadow it's not just getting darker its use are actually cha changing so it's your sorry so basically like when you see when you take a photo of vegetation at night it's not it's not green it's more of a purple bluish thingy so what you have to do is uh, use a um, you saturation mask and change the U so that you get something that is more of a um, blue instead of uh, that's what we were at, that's what we had at the very beginning so it's like normal green that you would have in the in a plain sun in the middle of the day but if you want to have like the proper you um, for uh, this kind of scene at this time of the day you would have to change it to this sort of you um, here and that way you can see it's kind of changing and also what you need to know is that when you're in the shadow at night the saturation are going slightly up I mean like seriously just slightly so but it's, it makes a big difference so that's something you have to keep in mind when you're checking your colors um, but yeah I think on the overall that's like sort of the only changes I'd make which are I think would enhance the the image quite a lot I'm not sure about the the kind of trees here it's just yeah just a matter of perception and how you like it but in terms of colors and lighting I think it's 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 much better to do the adjustments I just did so yeah hope you've enjoyed this video and that you've learned some uh, tips and tricks that will be useful in your next rendering so yeah see you next time for another video thanks guys bye Good night.